Now we're going to cover a little bit about the brief, the process where the client briefs the agency, who in turn briefs the composer or the music company, to try to get a piece of music that fits the purpose. This often happens via a meeting or conference call, and it's often a written brief. Even if you do have a meeting and cover things in person, there's often an associated written brief. This one, for example, is Subway, where the task was to produce a piece of brand music. So the brand music is the piece that is then going to get rearranged and reworked into different campaigns for all of the different product-specific commercials that are coming out. So that in this case, they're saying they uh, sometimes want it up-tempo, sometimes electronic, sometimes slower, or specific to their Moroccan flavor or their Caribbean flavor or whatever. In each case, it says we see the tempo and instrumentation changing between interpretations, but the core melody remains the same. That's a pretty typical kind of brief. It's not too specific. It's giving you a bit of information. It then uh, goes on to talk about style and tone. Overall, no matter the interpretation, the tone should always be fresh, positive and vibrant. This is uh, pretty typical of a retail kind of commercial. They're often looking for that very up kind of feel. They then go on to give specific references. I guess the one nice thing about this particular one is one of the references was actually a track of mine so that you know you're on a winner there. The brief then goes to talk about a sting, an existing five-note sting that has been around for a while. And this is not uncommon with advertising where there's an existing tune, an existing tag, and you have to rework that tag into your new format. So that's something you have to do. It has to be seamless. It has to feel like it fits. Having it as an add-on where it's just a bump on a log at the end is not necessarily what they want. This brief also says no lyrics. It also gives time durations, 30 seconds. Note there'll be a 15-second cut down. It mentions deliverables, that they want three interpretations of the track. They want up-tempo, electronic, they want acoustic, and they want Italian-themed, obviously because they've got an Italian sub coming up. So these deliverables are exactly what they want for this specific job. Okay, here's another brief. This is for a completely different client, but a very good indication of a really broad brief. This one's non-specific. It talks about more the attitude that they want. So it says, produce a high quality, appealing piece of music that can be used by a ResMed theme song. It really gives you no direction as to the style of music or, or what they're thinking. It does mention that they want an identifiable sting, a play out for the logo at the end. And it does go on to say that it's for global audiences worldwide, including both internal and external audiences, and both clinical and consumer audiences. So it is saying it's broad-based. It's got to really cover all bases. So that's a very different kind of brief as well. It's one that doesn't pinpoint the kind of music they want. So you've actually got to get more information out of the client, out of the agency, out of the creatives. This is not enough to start a track. They need to be more specific. With this actual piece, what happened is when they cut it, when they had a rough cut to give me to work to, there was already a piece of music that they were medium happy with. So I already had a pretty good starting point. However, you often do get this kind of brief and sometimes it's not fantastically helpful. Then on the other hand, you get these briefs that are written briefs that have YouTube links to all kinds of different things, sometimes varied pieces of music. This one, for example, had specific songs, quite different songs. It had the lyrics that they wanted. It had the feel. It talked about specific cuts of the commercial, what they were trying to do. So sometimes the written brief can be really, really detailed. Although having said that, it can be sometimes confusing because you might get uh, three or four pieces of reference music. We like this one, we like this one, we like this one. And in some cases, they are wildly different. You might have a fast piece, a medium piece, a slow piece, an electronic piece, an acoustic piece, and the agency or the creatives or the client have put all these things in saying, we like this, we like this, we like this. And at the end, really, it doesn't uh, help at all. It, more often than not, it can confuse. So once again, you've then got to draw the information out of them, try to pin them down to which their preferences are, and work hard at trying to pin it down before you actually write something. That's how the brief works.